Okay, Ramla from Saudi Arabia, she says, what's the minimal period between the two menstruations? There was nothing mentioned to us in this regard from the Quran or the Sunnah. So all what you may read is ishtihad from the scholars who came and thought that this might be the right period. So some would say 14 days, some would say a day and a night, some would say this or that. So there isn't any specific mentioned period between the two menstruations. And this is why in one of his rulings, uh, 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 Ali ibn Abi Talib, may Allah be pleased with him, if I'm not mistaken, stated, and this was also reported uh, uh, by the Shafi'i, may Allah uh, have mercy on him, that a woman can conceive, can uh, have monthly uh, period, then, then purity, then monthly period, then purity, then monthly period in less than a month. And this is rare, but it can happen. So what the scholars, the majority of the scholars, let us say, said was that the maximum amount of the number of days of monthly cycle should not exceed 15 days. So if a woman gets seven days monthly cycle, and then she gets purity for a couple of days or 10 days or seven days, and then gets another seven days of monthly cycles, this in a less of a month reach 14. It cannot exceed that. Because if it were to be 15, this means that the purity would be less than 14 days per month and the menses cannot exceed the purity. So it has to be half or less. But in regards of the minimal period between the two monthly cycles, there isn't anything mentioned in that and Allah knows best.